This is to demonstrate how to manually um, mirror a blend shape without using um, a script. Uh, it's a number of steps and it may be a little confusing, but um, the gist of it is that uh, you're going to use a wrap deformer. So we're going to flip one of these using scale and then create a blend shape to zero it out to the tar main target shape and then bend it into shape but using a wrap deformer on a clean shape and that will get us our mirror thing. So that's probably a little confusing to follow just by describing so that's why I'm making a video. So you've got this one called L smile, you've got one called R smile and the you're not getting a right smile. And so I'm going to take the L smile and and we'll just delete this version for now because that one isn't going to work. We're going to take the main target shape, uh, which I believe is this group here, and duplicate that. And that one is going to be called, I'm just snapping the grid here for it to be holding down X. Uh, so it's an exactly uh, specific place. And also it's important that the, which this case is, that the pivot point is centered on the character so it scales properly. So this one is going to be, I guess you call it smile R, we'll call this smile L. Okay, so this will ultimately be our smile shape. Now we're also going to duplicate our smile R. Control D for duplicate. And I'll just move it here for a moment. This one, we're going to scale minus one in the x direction. So you see it flip the hair and some other stuff as well, um, which it could be the asymmetrical hair is the reason that the uh, script isn't working. You might try the script on just this surface rather than the whole group. But anyway, um, so we're going to have to do the this t just to the surface, but it's it's all good. So I can remember this is smile R1, and I'm going to put that exactly on top of this one. Okay, so they've got two right on top of each other. A little bit difficult to look at. Um, uh, hide this one for a moment. Control H, and you can see the left smile, which is this, has just the normal base target shape and let's hide that one and show this one and this one has the negative one scale on it which obviously you can't use as a blend shape they don't blend shapes don't pay attention to anything in the transform node so now we want to make this smile L be the same as this shape so this is where it gets kinda tricky um, we're going to um, take, and I'll just use the body from this, not the whole group, this geo body and go to my base shape. Uh, actually, no, take this base shape, select that first, then, because that's going to be actually the target, believe it or not, and this is going to be the base in this case, and we'll create a blend shape. And the only purpose of that blend shape creation is to make it so that we can bend this back and forth between smiling and not smiling and we're going to leave it on the not smiling so where that's at value one so we use the blend shape to put it back into the base shape position now um, and we have this other one on top of it which is hidden so what we're going to do is we're going to um, use a wrap deformer and a wrap deformer takes one surface and uses it to deform it into the shape of another surface. So one first surface sort of pulls on another surface. And right now, you'll see if I make this visible, these two are, except for the hair being flipped, they're, they're exactly the same um, because uh, I put it back to the base shape. So it'll drive the surface well. So we're going to make, um, let's hide that again. We're going to make this surface, which is the one that you can change back and forth here with a smile. We're going to make that drive this other surface that's on top of it that's currently hidden. 
Um, so under the uh, Create Deformers menu, you'll find Wrap. And what Wrap says, it says select surfaces in an influence object. So select the thing that's going to be influenced, which is this one, currently hidden, and then uh, the influence. Control click on that one in that order. Create Deformers, Wrap. Sometimes wrap acts slowly, so just be patient with your Maya if it's slow. Now we're going to go to this one and put the blend shape back so he smiles. Okay. And let's hide this one and let's show the hidden one underneath that is controlled by the wrap. You see it's taking a moment for it to show up. It's calculating the wrap. And like I said, wraps are a little slow. So just be patient for a moment. Pray it doesn't crash. There we go. There you go. So now this is the one that's underneath. It's got a smile on it. Um, we're going to take this and delete the history. Edit, delete by type, history. And the this one that we used to do all this, we can just delete. And we're done. Um, you have a mirrored L smile shape done manually. So look at these two. You can see smile on one side, smile on the other. Hair is the same. Everything else is the same. Um, so that's how to manually mirror blend shapes. A lot of steps. You can see why someone's created a script. Um, I'm sure the script does it in a much more clever way than this, but this is the, the manual process. So if you spent a lot of time on a blind shape on one side and you want it, you know, mirrored and, um, you know, and you want it symmetrical, that's a good way to go about it.